Now this is my Mauser again. I've been thinking about this. I've been fighting with a gentleman by the name of a super weed lover or super pothead or something like that who says my Mauser is uh, refurbished and it's worthless because all the numbers don't match. That is true. The numbers don't match. The 1944 butt plate does not match the 1937 S42 code. That's true. Why? I don't know. But I do know this was taken from an armory in 1945 by my uncle when he was in Germany. He's about 96 now. And it's been in my family ever since. And we haven't screwed with it. Now I thought, well how can I prove it hasn't been a, been a refurb or if it was taken out of an armory? And I thought, okay, well the rifle itself, the stock, has all been sanded. It's been sanded underneath here very nicely. It's been sanded all the way along. I don't know why it was sanded like that. But the point is, there are no nicks or battle scars or bone chips or um, dragging across rocks on any of the stock, any of the leather, the, the original leather, which is right here. I've never taken that off. You can even see the fine grain knurling. You can see this uh, button back here. There is no scratches on the button. There is no uh, war thing. There is a little bit of oil on the wood, but that's due to age. Same with up here. You can tell that this is the original bluing. It's not a, a refit or a refurbish. This, these are the marks done by the armory, I believe. S42 1937 means that this uh, rifle was made in 1937. S42, it was made at the original Obendorf Mauser Works, the best original Mauser factory that made the best ones. So we go on down the line a little bit and as we can see the metal part right here this is where the top meets here and this this I put a little bit of glue in here about 20 years ago but I didn't know that this is a pin right here right here this piece right here this is a pin and this is a spring now if you look very closely at this spring piece, you will notice on the very end there and everything else, there is no sign of prying or any, anything else. It's just like it was when it was new. The same with this bayonet lug. Now the, 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 the gun itself is very old. Now if we look on the bottom here, this is the original trigger guard and trigger and magazine guard. The, the numbers don't match on the magazine guard compared to up here. I really don't care. But what I can say is there is no scratches on your finger guard, on your lower magazine guard, on any of the metal anywhere. There's no scratches on the original leather here or where there's a tiny bit of rubbing right here which it's just been it's been on there over the years and here's this side and you can see there's no scratches on it nothing here's the butt plate right here and the butt plates were used these are a little bit concave right here they're a little bit deeper right in the center that way you can break arms and legs and everything made a great club for that but there's no scratches on it. Okay, there's a little bit of oil seepage. There is no scratches. There's no dragging it through the dirt, or rocks, or Stalingrad, or anything like that. Okay, so you think it's a refurb. All right, let's just say it was a refurb. If the stock was refurbished, it has no numbers on it. It has no uh, Nazi emblems, nothing. 
on anywhere on the stock because it was never released to the army from the from the armory.